Living in small spaces can be challenging at times. With the sizes of our new homes getting smaller, how do we maximise the usage and utility of each square footage? Today, let me share six useful design tips to make your small space look bigger, brighter and nicer with more storages. Welcome back to Design Maven. Do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so and click on the notification button. Leave us your comments on how you design your small spaces. Do send us before and after pics and we will showcase them in the future episodes. Is it possible to combine wardrobe, study and sleeping area in one room? Yes, it's definitely possible depending on the square footage available. One way to maximise is to do everything built-in. Built-in cabinets and furniture keep clutter away. Increase storage and gives more function to a room to house all necessary furniture. Alternatively, you can explore the options of multifunctional furniture or a Murphy bed to maximise spaces. Mirror. Putting mirror in a small space is one sure way of enlarging the space effortlessly. The reflection from the mirror tricks the eye into thinking that there are more space than there actually is. Mirror also reflects light and this makes the room appear bright, airy and light. Placing a full-length mirror from the floor up to the ceiling next to a window not only enhances the space but creates an optical illusion that there are spaces beyond that wall. There are different tints of mirror available if you don't want the full glaring reflection. You can always opt for tinted ones which looks more elegant and classy. Single coloured wall and ceiling Keeping wall colours too light and airy, white, beige or light pastel is a good choice. White wall reflects light and feels more open compared to dark tones which enclose the space. Keeping the ceiling in the same colour tone as the walls to make it seamless, it will also make the room feel calm and collected. And make sure the built-in cabinets are light in tones too. Avoid using contrasting cabinet finishes like a black cabinet with white walls as this will envelop the space even more. Keeping colour schemes to a minimum to visually simplify the space and reduce visible clutter. Have furniture in light or neutral shades to brighten the space. Built-ins to keep in clutter and organise your storage. Full height built-in cabinet maximises storage area right up to the ceiling. These can be customised to suit whatever size that's needed for storage. Built-in ironing board which flips down when in use and can be stored back is a good example of keeping things neat and clutter free. Do not display too much stuff in a small space as it will appear too messy. How can we achieve maximum usage of space with doors? Yes, whenever possible, do replace a casement door to a sliding one or pocket door where the door slides into the drywall. This sliding door takes up lesser space and allows for more square foot usage. Multifunctional furniture Multifunctional furniture reduces the space usage and gives you more flexibility. Bench that double as storage with drawer or lids that lift up with storage underneath. Built-in sofas with pull-out drawers, bed base which lift up storage or pull-out drawers, living side table with storage drawers, sofas that can convert into sofa beds, bookshelves that flips down into a study table, extendable dining table that can be converted to seat a bigger group. Try and get furniture that have at least two functions. Not only will it help declutter, it also adds storage or a secondary function when needed. Organise your space and declutter. Clutter makes space look smaller and untidy. Keep your spaces neat and tidy and declutter regularly to prevent overstuffing your cabinets. Throw or donate away any unwanted stuff every half yearly. Have specific storage space when you store your stuff and group them together so it's easier to find when you need to use them. A neat and organised space will look a lot bigger than one that's messy. Furniture proportions. Always measure the space available before going furniture hunting. Buy furniture, light sofas and dining sets smaller than the spaces allow so that it won't look too bulky for the small space. Alternatively, you can get your designer to customise the furniture and furnishings to fit the small space to your liking. 
this is one sure way that the furniture and colour will definitely fit in nicely. Have a mobile side table instead of a coffee table to reduce space consumption and it allows the flexibility of moving the side table around when needed. Design tip of the day! Please avoid placing your furniture and furnishings too close to one another. Give ample breathing space to let your furniture breathe so they won't appear clutter. It also allows light to pass between them and make the space look neat and airy. There are a lot more ways in which we can share to design small spaces in our future episodes. So do remember to subscribe to our channel, click on the notification button, leave us a comment below on what you would like to see more of or if you have a question for us. So do let us know and we'll do an episode on your design challenges. Thank you for watching. This is Adrian Heng signing off from the Design Maven. See you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.